poke my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovel shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Say, wench, don't come crying to me when we're in a long boat crossing the straits for two moons and you're all skin and bones. A man needs something to grab onto. I ain't her fault. A cursed pixie gun. Some roads in the Vice City metropolitan area have been closed because of a severe weather warning. Meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Hermione, which is dead. Say, Fernando, what the hell is wrong with me? Silk jerk, hairy chest, enough aftershave to drown a household pet, but I still cannot get a win. I tell them you are It says here, Vice City, Civilian of the Year for 1985, Jenny Louise Kraft. Hi, Maurice. See you around. <laughs> okay, now let's get with the policy of ladies first. And since you seem to be the most pleasant person here, Jenny, I'm dropping frames. Okay, now it's gone okay. I just briefly went red and then it's green again. Okay, yep. Yeah, the SMG is faster, yeah. Ideally, you want a cop car and then you just get the shotgun from the cop car, but... 
that's that's just RNG, so it's quite rare. I think there is a strat that you can do where um, if you get two stars at the end of that mission, and then if you're quick enough, there'll be a cop car like spawn in the alleyway. But you need to be like really fast to like run for it, cause. Um, oh, you twat! Why do people fucking do that in this game? Like, I'm I'm trying to avoid running you over, but you jump in front of me anyways. This star's gonna last a while now. That was a good start. No, it's just trash. Lame, dude. Absolutely lame. God damn it. That was actually a really good mission up to that point. Yeah, kind of. Like, people used to do that where they'd, like, punch a cop or something and... Um, so, like, they'd, you'd punch a cop, go into the hotel and then... You'd get a cop car, like, in the alleyway or whatever. Florida, moron. Screw you, man. But yeah, like, you, you've got to get to the cop car before the mission ends, because otherwise the stars disappear and then, obviously, the cop car won't spawn. Some Florida moron. So you've got to be extra fast. Yeah, I used to do that because, like, really, really Tommy. Okay. I used to do that because on PS2 we used to do Jury Fury, so we needed the shotgun for the, the two cars. So, like, you gotta damage... Like, I think you need to, like, shoot the cars twice on Jury Fury, and then... And then, of course, you need it for this as well, so... But now that we dupe Jury Fury, then we don't need that anymore. But yeah, there's like there's a ton of different ways to like do the PC version on at the start. On on PS2 you've only got like two ways really. Either you go for the Jury Fury dupe or you don't. And if you don't, then you need to get that shotgun at the bench. For the, the cars, and then of course that for Riot as well, so. Yeah, I don't miss doing Jury Fury, it was. It was an annoying mission. Like, you, you had to, like. Well, basically, any mission involving PCJ riding, you know, just kinda sucks, so. I don't miss. I don't miss those missions. Oh, that mission, I should say. I just wish there was a way to skip um, Barb Roll. I hate that mission. I think Barb Roll is like my least favourite mission, just how it, it can just go wrong. On PS2 anyway, on PC it's not that bad. It's, you know, you've got manual aim so there's no... There's not much to it, really. Let's get back to the topic at hand, eh? I've had enough of this weirdness. Jenny, let's start with you. How do it's too bad we didn't have uh, manual aim on console. Like, it took until San Andreas for that to... 
to happen on console. I think that guy, did that guy like jump over the side of the building? That would have been funny. I knew that was going to happen. Hey, and Serbies. Yeah, the PC part of 4 wasn't, like, very well optimised at all. So even if you had, like, a really good PC at the time, it was, uh... It would dip a lot in, in terms of frame rate. Alright, this is better than the last run, at least. Not saying much. I've only actually played through GTA 4 once, I've never, like, replayed it. Ah, okay. Okay, whatever. I should have just jumped off it before then. Yeah, I watch Kyle uh, often. Kyle's like the only GTA 4 runner that I uh, that I really watch. I'm not too knowledgeable about full speed runs, so. Yeah, I, I kind of like his streams. You found a config online? Ah, okay. Hey, Mike, how are you doing? To be fair, I've never actually tried running the PC version. I just know that it's like horribly optimized. The the version I played was actually the uh, PS3 version, which is probably the worst version of the game. So, like, I think uh, the 360 version was the the lead platform. So that was the most. Poly I'm gonna move that back because it's gonna despawn. So yeah, I think the 360 version was like the most polished of the three. All the action, I see. You're doing good, nice. Uh, not not much really. Um, we had a really shitty heat wave uh, last week, or earlier this week, I should say. So that was fun. I'm going to stay this over and over until you do. Yes, Michelle is known for her begathon tantrums. She cares about this state. Yeah, I've never really like I've never watched a full run of four. Like I've only seen like the first twenty minutes of it really, because that's that's usually when he resets. But yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty chill in his stream, so I kind of like it. It's for your electronics, not me. Yeah, that's what I was like as well. Like I was more concerned with my like electronics and shit breaking than I was with my own body heat. So yeah, I get that. No SMG. Oh shit, really? Holy crap. Are you joking? What? Hang on. I've actually let that guy survive before, like, thinking Lance would finish him off. Lance is actually really fucking useless in this mission. 
Like, that guy will actually kill him if, uh, if he gets up the stairs. Unless I just got really unlucky that one time, but still, I'm not risking that ever again. That's close. Yeah, that, yeah, true, true. Yeah, I got a super slim PS3, like, a couple of years ago. I've got, like, a regular slim and I've got a super slim. The super slim, like, runs really, really cool. Like, like 40, 40 degrees, usually, on average. Of course, that's with fan control. If you're on, like, official firmware, you can't change that, so... That's why custom firmware is like absolutely worth it for PS3. Or pretty much any console, really. Like I think most consoles that you mod nowadays, you can control fan speed, which is definitely uh, on its own worth doing just for that, just for peace of mind. Nice. Pog. Yeah, if you still go online with it, then not worth it. But I think definitely worth it for PS3, though, if you still use it. Yeah, the, the problem is they prioritise the, um, the, what do you call it, the noise level. Like, they want a quiet console more than a cool console, so, yeah, the, the priorities are in the wrong place, but what can you do? You can actually do that with the original Xbox as well, like when I modded mine, um, you can control the fan speed on that as well, which I was quite surprised by, like, I didn't think a console of that age would have that, but it does. PS2 doesn't though, I don't think, you can't, you can't change the fan speed of the PS2. Oh look, he actually didn't die this time. I didn't think he was going to get in that quick. Get in. Excuse me, Tommy. What the fuck is going on with this game? Okay. Great stuff. Fantastic. Wow. And he broke the radio as well. <laughs> or he turned it off. Because usually when he doesn't like turn, so when you get into the BF injection, he like either he faces forward or he turns towards you. Um, if he doesn't turn towards you, usually he takes about I don't know five seconds to like actually get into the car. So that, that's why I didn't, like, drive away immediately, but then he decided, oh, actually, actually. So, yeah, that was weird. Hey, 
Yeah, also, um, when you're chasing him on the rooftop, don't touch him. That's another tip I can give. Because sometimes if you, like, touch him as you're running, like, after him, um, it'll, like, fuck up his AI where he'll just get stuck. And then you'll fail the mission. Because he'll never, like, run to the to the cutscene spot. He'll just, like, get stuck on a wall or something and, and then it'll just fail. But yeah, there's a few variables on that one. It's it's kind of annoying. Yeah, that's why I always like kind of hang back a little bit. Like if you're catching up to him, like if you're getting really close to him, just slow down a little bit just to make sure you don't uh, interrupt his line, I guess. Ah, all right, well. Still okay, I guess. I'm behind, but we can bring it back. Hey, Captain. How come you always uh, watch me but don't watch me, if you know what I mean? Like, you've always got that um, icon next to your name, like you're just listening but you're not watching. Hmm. <laughs> just memeing. Hey, thanks for the host. It actually popped up. Nice. I guess it's fixed. For now. Until Twitch breaks it again. Come on, that was trash. High quality educational programming about serious topics and the consistent reminder that the world is going to hell in a handbasket if you don't give us money. Remember, my city public radio is commercial free because it is funded entirely by donations from our listeners and corporate funds. So if you're enjoying the show, why not make a contribution? I'm Maurice Chavez and this is Pressing Issues. Pressing Issues is around the people exactly what they think about things and then they argue amongst themselves well, before leaving with views more extreme than when they came in. Totally joking ladies and gentlemen. This is a show founded on the ancient Greek principle of enlightened debate and the American I did update the bot earlier though so that probably they probably fixed it in the update. Like they must have adjusted the Twitch API to show hosts again so but yeah, it's only a matter of time before they kill it again, so... For your enlightenment and enjoyment is a very serious one. Go like safe. In case you haven't noticed, Vice City is not a very safe place. These are troubled times. We are a troubled people. Some would say we are a people at war with ourselves. Others would say... We are at war with <sighs> Almost. Fast food restaurants and quickie marts would say we are a bloodthirsty bunch of crazies who let... Okay! You're on your own from here! Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just, I don't know, I was just, um, wondering. It's just, you've always got that icon, so. Cool. I should really just go over that, um, like, I, I shouldn't do that, like, grind against the wall like that. I should do the, like, drive over it. 
It's just, you know, I can't be asked learning new strats. And so I held up pretty pictures and I gave out candy bars to appeal to their most base instincts. Uh, thanks, Maurice. I'm glad to be given this. But yeah, that's what can happen there if, uh, like you want, want you. I've actually had the car like flip over before as well doing that, so this isn't good. What the fuck, dude? No, it's... Oh, wait. Now it shows the deaf icon, or the muted icon. So wait, you've got no audio and you've got no video. I'm really fucking this up right now. Please make it, please make it, please make it. Yeah. Thanks, game. Thanks a lot. Pretty much ran into the fucking marker and it was like, nah. Nah, I'm easy phone call. Great. Steel mill. You want to wear tight leather clothes and play air guitar. That's what we're about. The recent album was a musical trip through hell, and I think it shows. Oh, yeah, it does. I mean, I saw Satan. He didn't like what he saw in me. He saw the darkness, but also Jesus. Ask man. I can find treasure in the dark. Watch yourself. They're coming from all over. Got it. for as fast as you can. I sing from the heart. About heartbreak? Babe, 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 don't go there, please. You do yourself a favor, take it easy. My people spoke to your people. Seriously, I appreciate the offer. And look, I would shag you, but you have to understand, it's too soon. Because Shari left you, right? Good shooting, my friend. You're a real, proper, grade-A lunatic. Well, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. Hey, damn, did you see that? <laughs> cool. 
Come on, get out. Tommy, it's me, Colonel Corte. Look, Senor, I believe you are a man who can get things done. So please help. You can find me at the boat, huh? Oh. oh, is it? Uh, hopefully that's not on my end. Weird. I don't have any noise gate on or anything. I've never used noise gate for that reason because it always like, like if someone hasn't set it up properly, it'll just cut out when they're saying something. So it's like, ah, fuck it. I'll just turn it off. In my opinion, like, that's more annoying than hearing like background noise. Depends what the background noise is, of course, but. Like if someone's saying something and then it just like suddenly gets cut off because the mic has a shitty noise gate on it, then yeah, that's, that's, there's nothing worse than that, so I just turned it off entirely. It's more that there's a fan, like, there's a fan uh, blowing right at the mic right now, so it's, but, eh. Oh, what am I doing? I was going for that car for some reason. Um, thanks for that. Yeah, so like, eventually you get used to it, you know what I mean? Like, if there's like, say, like imagine a laptop fan that keeps ramping up and down. Like, that's more annoying than a, a fan that just like stays at the same, vol um, same volume the whole time, but it's like somewhat loud, you know what I mean? So it's kind of the same with like microphone settings as well, like eventually you'll just get used to the the fan humming sound. There goes my careful planning flown to shit, thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. You killed my brother. What do you expect me to do, mow his lawn? Gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure. I guess. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here. Nice. <clears throat> nice. Good RNG. Not really RNG, but yeah. <laughs> 
Lance following is good. Oh yeah, I found a copy of uh, Driver 1 and 2 Twin Pack on eBay. Like, in really good condition as well, but the shipping is $22, and I'm like, fuck, that sucks, man. Almost costs more than the item itself. Typical UK shipping. But yeah, I really want to speedrun those games as well at some point. Fuck. Like, Driver 2 especially. Driver 2 has a really cool um, wrong warp in it, so it's like really short. It's like 20 minutes. So, hey, what's up, Everblazer? How are you doing? Yeah, me too. Oh, what am I doing? Fuck. I was gonna do the, like, phone call sprint glitch, but then I realised I don't need to do it here. Ooh, I golded it. I wanna try, um... Parallel lines, it looks interesting, like at least the concept of it. I want to give that game a go sometime. Like you can, uh, you, you basically like go back in time and shit, so it's pretty cool. You can do that in two, yeah. That that was like the big selling point of Driver Two was that you could get out of the car, because like in Driver One, once your car is wrecked, it's it's over. But in two, you could actually like get another car if if that was the case. It's like it was. I don't know. I don't know if I would say it's ahead of its time. I mean, I guess it was. There was not really that many other games. that I was aware of anyways. No! Oh fuck, don't, 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 don't. Damn it. I like pulled back too early. off. Every time, dude, there's a cop here. So weird. Uh, yeah, 2000. It's like, it was pretty, pretty late PS1 game. Excuse me. What the fuck? When there's a cop nearby, he like... Like the bullets sort of like go to the side. It's weird. Like they're, they're trying to home in on the cops or whatever instead of uh, straight ahead. Some like auto-aim thing going on. 
Yeah, Driver 2 is in Chicago. There's a... Actually, I think 1 is as well, isn't it? 1 has San Francisco. No, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. The first game has San Francisco and... Um, Miami. And the second game had... Chicago and Havana. Like, those were the first two levels. Chicago level's pretty cool, because it's like a stadium. Like, each each level had like a secret car to find. Which, they obviously couldn't do that in the first game, because you couldn't like get out of the car, obviously, to switch to it. But yeah, two had like a, a secret car on each, each map to find, which was... Uh, Pretty cool. Call me son, have I got a surprise for you? I'm down at my calling studios with some major artists. Why don't I think the Havana secret car was the best, it was the mini. It was a little mini on uh on Havana, so and, and it was in like a underground maze as well. But yeah, Driver 2 drove me insane with that shitty Chase the Gunman mission. I hate that mission. I'd say that mission is harder than any mission in any GTA game for me. Nice. and I'd rather talk about that. I'm trying to sell my book. Okay. Now it says here you wanted to be a man so much, you dressed up like one. Well, that's a load of crap, my dear. More misogynistic... Alright, here we go. Fingers crossed. <sighs> Nice. Oh no, hang on. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need that bike. I need to get him away from it. Okay. Want buy you dinner is great. Well, we'll come back to you and your problems, excepting who you really I mean, I could have shot him, but the problem is I need to take the phone call, so I I can't afford to get two stars right now. So Hey, throw brusky. There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. You catch my drift? I reckon so. All I'm saying is keep your eyes open. Oh, I've answered this call too far back. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. I need to like sort of answer it as I get to the gates and then like sort of maximize my sprinting there. Anyways, let's go. It's storming there. Yeah, it's it's raining a lot here right now. I can hear it. Like, it's raining and it's really windy. I think we're due for some thunderstorms, too. Yeah, that was a few years ago. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ah, cops. Get up, Lance, please. Come on. Alright. That was close. Tie him up and gag him. Ooh, fits perfect. Fit tight around the crotch, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine too. Mine too. Oh, really? Yeah, it's all weird. 
fight me either. Now fight. Did you have like did you have um like a heat wave though? Like on Monday slash Tuesday, because we did. I haven't seen Soso in a while. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and fifty. Hasn't rained in a month. Yeah, we haven't had a lot. We haven't had any rain for a long time either. Like yesterday was the first time it rained in in weeks. And it was desperately needed after the uh after Monday and Tuesday. Thirty five plus, yeah. Wow, so it was actually hotter here than it was in Florida, that's crazy. That must be a first. I've seen people crouch on that marker, I don't know why they do it though. Oh, you're not? Okay. You move around a lot. I can't keep up. Right, nice. At least I didn't get a start. I know someone who used to switch to a controller just for the helicopter sections, so I mean, you could maybe consider that. I know it might be a bit awkward, but if it makes things easier, then... Hey, Sin Dragon. How did, uh, how did the op go? Still green. Your foot hurts. Oh man, how long does it take to recover? Six to eight weeks. Well, it's an excuse to be lazy, so. Oh, and furnace. Oh well. To be just as they said, I grant you, 1980 was not a high point in my career, but I never applied for a sex change. I was merely in an exploratory phase, and besides which, saw the oh, world I see. clown was... World record. I mean... Nah. Something shitty will happen, so don't, uh, don't get hyped. Sunshine Autos. Hey, Supernal, thanks for the host. Every run is a world record. Um, no, let's risk it. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? <laughs> Okay. Come on. Okay. I am doomed. I am doomed. Mm. 
No, we didn't make it. World record attempts attempts. You're still justifying yourself by the I am not rather than the I am principle. I mean, really, you might as well make his bed and clean his litter tray for God's sake. It's half hearted fools like you who give feminism a bad name. Yeah, this is the hardest part of the run, so I'm not really like I'm I'm always nervous at this point if it's like good pace. You see, Amy, that's the thing about people. They're so half hearted. Pick and mix. Not prepared to kill. Nobody likes palm trees. I like palm trees. Mainly because we don't have any here, so it's rare, like, that you get to see them. Brother, don't argue with me. I write books. Okay. Next caller. Glod. I don't know how, because I fucked up the jump off the ship, but let's go. The fake. Hey, I got those clothes you want. No me, so fue tremendo por caso. Nice, it's open. Ah, come on. I need to get rid of this door. He was a hoot, sort of like Tommy's. Oh, nice. I mean, if Rockstar was smart, they'd like release Tommy's shirt, but you know, at some ridiculous price, and people would buy it. I'm sure. Just put like the Rockstar logo on the tag, and there you go. Free money. Read my book. Yeah, also Claude's uh, jacket as well. And CJ's vest. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sometimes it's hard to tell if the rain has started or not. Uh, what do you mean? Like, is there fixed weather on certain missions? Not really, but it is on a global timer, I think. Like, it's not... It's not random like some people think it is. So, like, it always rains here. Like, at, at like, the 54-minute mark, it always rains. So you kind of know if you're on good pace or not, if it's, uh, raining now, or, like sooner or later or whatever come on Tommy get on I'll cry when I'm done killing. I know you come. Just like old days, we kill everybody. Tim, they've got 
Alright, this time I made sure it stopped. Because yesterday, it freaking, um, like, he jumped off the back of it. Even though it was going, you know, I'd slowed right down, but he still, like, dived off it. So, it freaking despawned. Killed the run. So, yeah, you got to be careful of that. Alright, last one. You are now to America. Ah, shit. Okay, that was sketchy. So, hello everyone and welcome back to KChat by City's main place for... Alright, good shit, let's go. No, that one's rated PG, but yeah, the other one, um, Knife After Dark, that's rated R. <laughs> it sure is. Alright, let's go. I'm not I'm not liking the rain here though, it doesn't usually rain on this uh oh, fuck, that is not good. See what I mean? Like I'm not used to it raining here. It's usually done raining by the time I'm like done with the um insta passes, so I think the timing on this is going to be really shit now. I've got a bad feeling about this. Not to be memeing or anything, but... Like, I think... Yeah. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Whew. Alright. I did get him, right? So Unless you're married already, babe. You ain't married, are you? No, I just split up with my boyfriend. He didn't like me being on the radio. Whatever. So I sounded stupid. Well that's my point, Bob. I mean, imagine if you've been out dating. Alright, just try not to fuck up. We'll pass the hard shit, just keep it together. No! Fuck. Okay. Good thing that doesn't crash the game. It does if you save, though. If you save, like, when you're on a mission, it's it'll crash, like, when you load it and shit, so... Yeah, don't do that. I've done that before, like, by accident. Alright, come on. Good RNG on traffic and then we're good. Nice. Nice. So, like, if they have to go around, like, any cars there, they won't actually, um, stay on the bike. They'll jump off and you'll fail the mission, so... 
this is something for the guys out there, really. It's kind of weird, but yeah, like if they have to go around a car here, then they'll um, you'll fail the mission. So it's pretty stupid, really. Hey, thanks, man. I've got a little bit of time save on this mission as well. This could be like another minus one minute if I don't fuck up. Nice. Good. Be cool if we just like jumped straight to one or three, but I don't think I've got that much time save. Oh fuck, okay. That was, uh... I don't know if that was good or bad, actually. I think you're better, like, chasing them down this road, but, uh, whatever. Yeah, exactly, Captain, that's exactly it. Also, bad, uh... Bad time to read chat, but never mind. But yeah, the earlier the rain is gonna get, so. See if I can get onto the onto the wall. Nope. Yeah, it's still good though. Like I'm still saving time actually. Despite that. Yeah, that was all your fault, man. I can't believe it. Nah, I'm just messing. Don't worry. I would never blame chat. Lol. I've got a really shit, like, mid-game. So, this will be cool to compete with. But this is a really good late game, so yeah, that's going to be interesting. Feels Captain Man. Oh, almost. Come here, you double crossing piece of shit. Your history, Tommy. He went through the wall. Or does he always do that and I've never noticed? But yeah, you don't really lose time doing this because um Like Sonny always takes like a minute to spawn anyway, so. So like I've still got to wait for Sonny anyways. sitcom that has captured America's heart and given the whole country a new catchphrase. But I'm 42! <laughs> Just the five of us. You took 15 years well, this is fitting. Money, and now I'm gonna make you pay! Still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy. 15 years were mine to spend. I'm so sick of this! Get him, boys. You never know what to say. Well, but I'm a 42 year old Oh, shit. Late split. I always spill it late, man. All right, four thirty-two. Thanks for GG. Yeah, I was actually really happy with this, like especially the late game. The mid game was Tommy? pretty trash, but oh my god, Tommy! What, well, what time save for next time. What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a hey, Propol. Thanks suit. for GG. Tommy, what on earth happened? 
It's a miracle that I even finished the run, so... Like, that's a couple of days I've not finished. Well, I finished one last night, but... Only because it was the last run. Yeah, 47 seconds. He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think so yeah, one or three for sure. I can get that now. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! Yeah, exactly. You were here. That we're in charge. I mean, you're... You're supposed to say hi, YouTube, by the way. You know, Ken... I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. I know, right? All, yeah. Conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just Might get another one yet. Hey, Mike Hibiki. 